So you're considering making a move to Odessa, Florida, and you're wondering what the best places to live are. Well, in today's video, we're going to talk all things Starkey Ranch, which if you are considering making a move to Pasco County, I would strongly encourage you to check this place out because it is absolutely stunning, y'all. And we're going to get into that right after this. So you're considering making a move to Odessa, Florida, and you're wondering what the best place in Odessa, Florida to live in is. Well, in today's video, we're gonna be checking out Starkey Ranch, which is one of the best master plan developments in all of Florida. It actually has been ranked that three times in the last five years alone. And we're gonna talk all things Starkey Ranch. I'm, today, I'm standing right in the Starkey Ranch Business Park. There's the Wicked Poor Tap Room. There's another uh, brewery right down the street. You got Big Storm. You got Capriatis here, a Yoga Six, an Urgent care for uh for the puppers and, and the felines got the meat market right down in the corner directly across the street here if you guys can check this out you have got uh Publix. there is shopping galore y'all we're gonna get into all of those things today so if you are thinking about making the move to starkey ranch or odessa florida you gotta check this video out if this is your first time to the channel we make videos that are all things tampa bay what it's like to live here what it's like to work here what it's like to play here the food the dining the outdoors the beaches and the sunshine my name is juan alcala i'm a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here with the True Living Group and we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate and invest into the Tampa Bay area and Starkey Ranch. So today's video, like I said, we're going to be covering all things Starkey Ranch. You know, the things you need to check out if you're considering making a move here, we're going to check out a few pieces of real estate. There is so much to do here. I'm talking loads, right? We got 2,400 acres of community here at Starkey Ranch. You've got 18,000 acres of wildlife preserve that backs directly up to this place with with rivers and trails and biking and hiking and kayaking and, and horse trails and literally there is so much to do guys I, I literally could sit here and talk about this for 10 minutes straight but it would bore you to tears so we're not gonna get into that but what I did want to show you is this business park you know one of the things that people get concerned with is when they see newer developments they're like hey what's in the area right is there anything else around me that's gonna make my life easier Starkey Ranch, the entrance, you'll see it right down here past the Chase Bank. The entrance is right here, 2,400 acres. As you can see, they're developing everywhere around here. We're at the business park right now. You've got the Publix grocery store right across the street. They're putting in brand new apartments across the way here and condos. You've got hotels right down here off of Gun Highway. This is uh, Highway 54. You've got an Aldi and AutoZone. I mean, they are building everything up around you here in Pasco County. And this is a great location. You know, we're talking about 25 minutes to downtown Tampa Bay. Nothing crazy. Um, with traffic, it can definitely be a little bit longer, but still gives you a lot of accessibility. And you're only 20 to 30 minutes away from the beaches as well. So really cool spot to be in. In today's video, I'm going to take you all through Starkey Ranch. We're going to check out the parks in the community because there are some good ones, y'all. I mean, man, when people do it right, it's exciting. I know it's a place you know when you're looking for a home right a place to call home in a community that you want to live in well you want to be someplace where where obviously they're making investments into it it's got a lot of community space someplace where you would love to go out with your family or yourself if you're a runner maybe you're a biker like i love having access to parks and clean areas these guys have four dog parks in the community here i mean it's absolutely incredible so we are going to get into that we're going to go check those out let's go check them out right now All right, so we're here at stunning Starkey District Park. This place is incredible. It's right in the heart of Starkey uh, Ranch, which I absolutely love. I think it's so awesome. When you're coming down, you see the school, you got the K through eight school there, then you come to the library and then the park entrance is right there. And this park is so beautiful. I mean, you've got multiple baseball fields, uh, baseball diamonds just like this that are pristinely manicured. These are both for hardball and softball. There's five of them in total. They're all lit. Uh, you've got three soccer and lacrosse fields over there, uh, mixed use spaces. You've got uh, pavilions, concession stands, um, a playground for the, for the kiddos or for yourself if that's your thing, <laughs> right? Um, but it just gives you so much access to the entire area. It ties into the 20 acre trailhead. Um, and as you 
you can see behind me on the other side here, this is all beautiful cypress trees. And you guys will get a look of this from the drone shot that the biographer is going to get today but there is so much to do on site here at district park and it just makes it's another reason why starkey ranch is so desirable people come here you don't have to leave the community is a place that is meant to be experienced not just lived in so to speak you know you're not just talking about you know four four walls and a roof and a place to sleep you're talking about how do i get tied into my community and uh, district park is definitely a spot to do that So we're in Cunningham Park, and one of the things that is really fascinating completely surrounded by water. Um, it's got hiking trails. Uh, there's a small garden as you enter as well. And then, you know, you do have some things for the kids to come and play with. But really, this is a park that is designed uh, for you just to come and hang out and enjoy wilderness. Um, so much so. <laughs> we're going to try to not feed those animals today. I'm not interested in feeding those animals, but... You do have a small playscape here. You know, you guys will see it here. There's some swings, but you've got all of this beautiful trails, y'all. Um, this place is meant to come walk or run and come enjoy it. You can swim in the, or I'm sorry, you can fish in the area as well. I would not encourage anyone to be swimming in a pond like this. This is where you find um, <laughs> the dinosaurs. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not interested in feeding those things at all um, in any way, shape or form. But one of the things I love about this park is all of the beautiful old growth oak trees, which you can see behind me here, hopefully. I mean, these things are stunning, y'all. And this entire area is just completely surrounded by water. You know, you've got water features everywhere. And I love, love, love. They put picnic tables, they've given access. There's a bathroom, there's a clubhouse here. You can actually rent this space out, um, which is really cool. Great area to come hang, do the thing, spend time with the family, or just come for a jog in the morning. You know, whatever it is that uh, makes you happy and, uh, you know, keeps your soul um, fed is, is what I would encourage you to do. But this is Cunningham Park at Sarkey Ranch, just a great place. And as you guys can see behind me here, hopefully, um, you know, you've got all the picnic tables and covered spaces. There's actually a little book cubby um, right up here uh, by the little farm that I think is really cool. So you can take a book, leave a book, share with the community. It's a great place to go hang out. Things that we love to do is check out the real estate in the area here and we're going to check out this house right behind us here uh, but i wanted to talk about where we're located because you know again starkey ranch is a planned master development uh, and that's the goal here is to keep all of the communities tied together in some way shape or form and you're going to find that through these community spots they've got all these trails all these hiking and we've talked about how much uh, green space there is in the area but this is another good example right so you've got you know the street here two car garages the, the garages here sit in front of the house which is pretty unique but in the, the reason is is because in the backyard here that is all communal space which is really cool so think of it as one giant backyard for the entire community almost like a detached condo but these are single family homes and then the other thing in terms of location where this property is actually located that is Starkey Park right Starkey Ranch District Park the park that we were just standing at it's absolutely incredible you can see the kids playground hopefully you can see the uh, um, the slide there because I just wanted to show you that. But this home is a great example, built in 2018. Uh, it's a 2,100 square foot home. I think it's 2,098 technically. Uh, it's currently listed at 554,000 at the time of this recording. It's a four bedroom, three bath, beautiful home, you know, just recently built in a fantastic location. And this is exactly the type of real estate that you're gonna find in the area. You know, it's pretty close to the average sales price or the median sales price. 
um, at the at the time of this recording as well. But you know, as you've seen today, Starkey Ranch is just a beautiful community, and they're trying to you know continue to lure young working professionals, um, retirees, and families to this area. It's clean, um, it's modern, and it has a lot to offer. Alright y'all, so here's another example of another beautiful home here in Starkey Ranch that I wanted to feature uh, directly behind us here. Uh, one of the cool things about this house that I think I really enjoy is the back patio. You'll see it, it's all pavers, we'll make sure it's in the photo here, but it is staring at, you know, thousands of acres of woods, which is pretty cool. This is a three bedroom, three bath, 2,147 square foot. Uh, this one was built in 2020. And at the time of this recording, it is currently being listed at $600,000. But you know, another great property, all the modern amenities that you would expect in any home. Um, also, you know, it's got great features. You know, it's got this huge back lanai, uh, completely paved. You know, you've got access to, again, the community. Um, you know, like I was telling you, you've got this, this, uh, these interior spaces where they're all green, like one giant backyard, which is pretty cool. Not every property is like that. I want to make sure you guys know that because I know some people don't want to be that close to the neighbors and I understand, I get it. Um, but one of the things that this property does give you access to is the community space. You know, you just walk out, take a, a few houses down, make a right, or you're staring at, you know, thousands of acres of beautiful cypress trees in your backyard, which is absolutely stunning. You know? so, it's a great property. All right, y'all, this last home is absolutely stunning and I'm very excited to share it with you here. And I love this home for a few different reasons. Number one, it's got a beautiful pool on the back side of the home completely covered lanai um, and it is facing uh, J.B. Starkey Wildlife Preserve and it is very, very private. Um, this home was built in 2019 by Taylor Morrison. It's a six bedroom, five bath, 4,800 square foot home. Uh, it says it's a three car garage, it's looking like a two to me. Um, it is currently listed at 1.4 million at the time of this recording, but I absolutely love how private this home is, even though you're in a beautiful neighborhood. We're in the Whitfield Preserve neighborhood, which is one of the more sought after neighborhoods in Starkey Ranch. Um, you know, all these communities are wonderful, y'all. I don't want you to be fooled to think like, hey, I gotta have this one or that one, but this is definitely a community that, that lends a little bit more. And part of that is because it is so private. Um, you know, it gives you, if you, hopefully you can see in between the houses there, but that's all cypress trees. It's all wildlife preserves. We've talked about, you know, how much the area has to offer in terms of outdoor space. Every single street leading to the neighborhood here has, you know, it has a bike path on it. There are hiking and biking trails all around. There are parks every single, you know, step of the way. We passed Cunningham Park to get here. Excuse me, y'all, it's 93 degrees today. Um, Cunningham Park to get here. You know, you've got the, the community pool, which is accessible. All these things are just minutes away from each other, including the shopping. You know, we're in the, you know, farthest northeast corner of the community here and we still are only minutes away from all of the amenities that the community has to offer. So I just love coming here. I just think that, you know, if you're looking for a more private and exclusive type of, of living, you know, you're gonna find that here in Sharkey Ranch. It's a lot of newer developments. It's a beautiful place to come check out. And I just think that um, it's worth the visit. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanted to sit down and really kind of share with you what's been drawing people to the area. You know, we've talked about this before where Pasco County has been, you know, one of the fastest growing counties in the country. Um, it definitely was one of the fastest growing counties in the state of Florida, and this kind of ebbs and flows, but this community here has been recognized as one of the best master plan communities in the United States, and uh, it ranked there three times, which is incredible when you think about that. But I wanna kind of walk you through why, okay? Because I know it's hard, we're, we're shotgunning, we're running from local location to location. I don't always get to sit down and gather my thoughts, but you know, Starkey Ranch is home to about 87,000 residents. 
2,400 acres of community here. And as you guys can see, they've really focused on the green space. There's 20 miles of trails. You've got 150 acres of parks. It, it backs up to J.B. Starkey Wildlife Preserve, which is 18,000 acres of outdoor living space. There is, you know, kayaking trails and horseback riding and camping and everything you need right at your fingertips. And y'all, you know, when you look around here, I'm going to spin you guys around so you can check this out really quick. what's not to love about views like that, right? So when you look at the, the community here, we're 16 miles from the Tampa airport, but it feels like you're in an entirely different world. Those of you who like a little bit more suburban sprawl, this is definitely gonna be your type of area. At the time of this recording, the, the average sales price of a home here is right around 699,000. You know, it's at the, the lowest that I'm seeing in the area right now is right around 550, and it goes up over a million. Um, that won't be a problem, but I wanna talk about some of those amenities. We were just at, you know, we started started the whole video today um, at the Starkey Business Park, which had the brewery and some other things there. But you've got Publix and Santelli's Pizza and Pasta. You got Joseph Nail Salon, uh, dental care, dry cleaners, UPS stores. I'm reading this off the sheet here because there's so much, y'all. Chase Bank, and that's just here. You know, you got the Starkey Ranch School, the K through eight, which we saw. Uh, you've got the Starkey Ranch Theater, Library and Cultural Center. You got the Creative World School, which is a charter for the kids. You've got the Starkey Ranch District Park, which is over 80 acres that place is stunning they did such a good job of making a um i would call it a community slash sports plex in a place where i would want to take my families on the weekends and it's right in the heart of starkey ranch specifically with the lighted ball fields i mean what a cool place to grow up i think that's really really cool you know six additional multi-lighted purpose fields two additional concession sands um you know you've got multiple parks here i'm in cunningham park currently you've got woodfield park which has the pool the splash pad a dog park there we'll put a, a video in here too because it's a really cool spot you've got Al Britton Park which is coming soon they're in the middle of developing that there's new construction homes going on there you've got bike paths on on all of the main thoroughfares there are hiking and uh, walking trails everywhere I mean this community is incredible y'all and hey you know the thing I would ask you to do is if you know anyone who's considering moving to the area Pasco County or otherwise you know feel free to share this video with them um, and if this is your first time to the channel please Please feel free to subscribe to that um, hit the subscribe button and click that little bell as well it lets people know that um, these value these videos are valuable and if you've got any questions about buying selling or relocating to the area please don't hesitate to reach out to me or my team my contact information is listed down below and if you're considering Pasco County as a whole I would encourage you to check out other areas we'll uh, put a link to Wesley Chapel video here which I think you're really gonna like if you've like if you're into the newer construction newer amenities type of neighborhoods check that out and and then also we'll put another video over here. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.